Shotgun, gun, people! Man, how do we get here? Drop the gun! Okay, if you haven't seen the full clip, was that shooting justified? It was behind the guy and he shot him. Well, in context, yes it was. So, uh, it's a pretty interesting video. This is a Fargo shooting. So, if we read about this shooter, um, he's from Syria and he came here for asylum. Aww. We're just helping people across the border. So, Mohammed, what's his name? Mohammed Bakarak, uh, from Syria. And in his car, he had three long guns. Four handguns, 1,800 rounds, 223 bullets, three canisters filled with gasoline, two propane tanks filled with tannerite, explosive material used for target practice. Notice they're not using the word terrorist attack, terrorist assault. He was planning on mass destruction. He was committing a terror. No, no, we can't say that because his name's Muhammad. However, most people can connect the dots. This is this open border coming back. The chickens coming home to roost. All the idiots saying, no, no, no. It's for the children. Open borders were good. Fentanyl, deaths, crime, whatever. So this guy was involved in a traffic accident, which, again, as a cop, you never know what you're responding to. Uh, you may be going to a call to help a cat in a tree, and the next door neighbor is on crank and has a meth lab. And when he sees the cop next door working on a cat, he thinks he's being raided. He opens up. So, you know, you got to be like a midget at a urinal, always on your toes. So these cops were here. They're investigating an accident, which they think is just an accident. But because this terrorist, I'm sorry, Mohammed from Syria, was had all these explosives and stuff in his car, he knew the gig was up, so I might as well go for what I want to do anyway. And uh, he went out fighting. Now, they say to use a 223. That gun sounds like an AK. Uh, the cop put it out as he's armed with an AK. And when I hear it, it sounds like an AK. So, thank goodness we have gun control. So this guy from Syria, not even a citizen, can get all these guns and uh, commit crime, which will give our politicians more reasons to say why we should take guns from good people. But that's another subject. Let's watch this. Very nonchalant, walking around. I think this woman right here gets shot. She's the driver of the other car, and she tries to run away when the shooting starts. She gets shot. I'm not sure how this guy got a gun and was able to ambush these guys when they're here. I mean, as soon as the accident happened, nobody saw him grab a gun and run. Nobody saw him, you know, is this... This There's only one car here. Is this the other car in the accident? Why did he even stop? Why did he keep going? So there's still a lot of questions that I have on how we got here. But for some reason, the cops are here. They're investigating. They think it's low key. And this guy opens fire from this car over here. This video is used for educational purposes under the Fair Use Act and not to promote violence, but to educate people. So it looks like this vehicle had its air, air uh, bags deploy. So it must have been a pretty good impact. And of course, the big red truck freaking has to come to justify more big red trucks and more firemen because they get so many calls to come and block freaking traffic. Notice. So, this body cam we're seeing here is from the officer that ends up initially killing. So we have three officers over here, and all three of them, I think, get hit. That sounds automatic to me, too. Could be a semi-automatic. Maybe it's one of those cool California guns with the automatic button, uh, the super magic button that you press and it turns every gun into automatic. Maybe it's one of those guns. We got shots fired, Central. We got shots fired. This guy immediately returns fire. Okay, so it looks like the guy may have got out of the car here. Let me go back to this. We got shots fired, Central. We got shots I didn't know, fired. Because I thought he was on the other side of the car. So he must have been sitting in the car. They didn't contact him. 
and he jumps out and starts opening fire. So he thinks he got the three cops, and this guy opens fire. Oh, by the way, I think they said he was wearing body armor, too. Central, we got a man with an egg. So, they'll be calling for more laws on body armor. Not more laws on asylum seekers. Not more laws on closing the border. It'll be the body armor's fault. And the gun's fault. K-47, he's shooting at us. We're at... I think this cop fires 21 or 31 rounds. No, I think he hits the guy 21 times. Notice this car right here? Hauling ass out. Smart. Gunfire, this car gets the hell out of Dodge. Creating distance. Smart. Central, shots fired, shots fired. We got three officers down. Three officers down. Three officers. What about the woman? Central, shots fired. Oh, she doesn't fired, matter. Fired. I'm sorry. We got three officers. So here's the other person that got hit. She was the driver of the other car. She's hit, but don't worry about her. We just got three officers down. Three officers down. One, two, three. Okay. Send everybody. Send everybody. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! So here, could he have opened up and fired? He could have. Deadly force is authorized. But is there a threat or is the threat over? Look, nobody's going to question a cop after somebody shoots a bunch of cops for using excessive force or shooting a guy. The DA is going to automatically default to, hey, in the eyes of the officer, the guy could have been a threat. He was moving. He wasn't neutralized. So what? He's on the ground. So what? He can't control the gun. So what? He's no threat to anybody. He's just moving because he's in pain and bleeding out. Doesn't matter. The DA is going to default. The guy moved. He's a threat. He had access to a gun. It's reasonable for any officer to think he's a threat. Therefore, the shooting is justified. I don't know if I 100% agree, but I kind of agree. Stop moving! Stop moving! Put your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! So I did think right here... He, he moved the gun or he picked up the gun. And I think if he's moving the gun, then uh, absolutely, you can shoot. So I think right here he's moving the gun, but I can't really tell. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Fargo 534, three officers down. So here, he clearly, gun is laying down and both hands are up. Does he have a pistol? Did the officer think he has a pistol? This cop is in high reaction mode. He's just got three cots. He just received fire. He's already fired his gun. He's totally tunnel vision, fight or flight. All this is happening. He's got the wherewithal to reload, create distance, put cover between him with a car, and get close to a tree in case he comes up while he's reloading. So this guy's pretty tactically thinking. A nice rip, pull and rip back with full slide. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Who thinks this cop is like, if he's moving, I'm going to keep shooting until he's dead or stop moving. This guy is total in. I don't want this guy getting back up. Drop the gun! And from, from a personal standpoint, I'm okay. If you shoot at me, I'm okay with shooting you until you're not moving. Just so you know. Not that I'm encouraging violence or anything. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Who thinks this cop is moving around to get a headshot because the guy's still moving i absolutely think he and his thought process i keep shooting this guy he keeps moving i'm gonna move around and go for a headshot now the mozambique mozambique drill which most agencies teach is two to the body one to the head anytime you think somebody has body armor you know you get good close hits you go to the head if the bullets to the body are taking them down 
Uh, I used to teach two to the body and pelvic area because it's a large blood flow. You take out the pelvic, pelvic girdle's a larger target, more likely to hit it, and the guy ain't getting up, moving, or running. So then you can go for the head afterwards, which I think is what this cop is doing. Drop the gun! So I don't see the guy holding a gun, but... And he stops moving. Raise your hand if you know why he stopped moving. All right, here we go. He's the only one. He's the only one. Okay. So, uh, that's, I mean, justified, not justified. Welcome to Open Borders. Uh, what did he do? 23. Uh, Officer Rosman told him to drop his gun 16 times. The officer fired 31 rounds, hit him 21 times. Great, great training video. Great history of, uh, hey, Open Borders were a good thing. And uh, it's the bulletproof vest fault and it's the gun's fault. Yeah, that's the narrative. All right. We'll end up there.